Shalom. Welcome to GMS Gals on the Streets. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, whom I worship, to Bahamas, and to the other apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me this word of sincerity and in truth, and who are still on the highways and byways after many years uh, doing the same thing that they have been doing since they were young men, um, you know, working, doing the work of the Lord to receive their uh, crowns and that they may be saved. Salutations to all the Akim throughout the world affiliated with GMS who are doing the same. Uh, this is Elder Sakharan from the GMS New York camp. And uh, just bringing another lesson out, uh, dealing with the, uh, the Mark of the Beast, man, the chip. Just saw this article on RT that I'm about to bring out um, explaining how this uh, Moabite doctor, uh, brain surgeon, I guess, um, he uh, operated on a patient that was miles away from him, man, and he was he used the five G uh, network. All right, five <clears throat> G. If you don't know about five G, you know just you know Google it and learn about it, you know. But it's it's a a, a stronger network than what we ha now have, which is the four G. All right, um, so I'm about to get into it. <laughs> So this article here is from RT, and it just just came out about forty minutes ago, man. Um, um, it says a uh, world world's first remote brain surgery via five G network performed in China. So you could type this in. You want to read the whole? I'm I'm gonna see if I could uh, uh, paste the link in the description box below, so y'all could you know just click on it and get it. If not, just, you know, type this in, you know, uh, RT, and then put this title up, and it'll come up. <clears throat> so it says, uh, a, a Chinese surgeon has performed the world's, world's first remote brain surgery using 5G technology with the patient 3,000 kilometers away from the operating doctor. Dr. Ling Z Zipay remotely implanted, remotely implanted a neuro stimulator into his patient's brain on Saturday. That's why the title of this video is Mark in their foreheads via 5G. Because this is exactly what he did, man. Pretty much he implanted something into his patient's for, uh, um, uh, brain from far away using a five the five G network man. Alright, it says um Dr. Ling Zip Zipay remotely implanted a neural right the karagma uh, uh, implement implementation you know something that is implanted right a, a neural stimulator into his patient's brain on Saturday Chi Chinese state run media reports the surgeon manipulated the instruments in the Beijing-based Plag Hospital from a clinic subsidiary on the southern Hainan Island, located 3,000 kilometers away. The surgery is said to have lasted three hours and ended successfully. The patient suffering from Parkinson's disease is said to be feeling well after the pioneering operation. Yeah, he'll probably end up dropping dead, you know, a day after or so, you know, <laughs> they they using them as lab rats, man, you know. The doctor used a computer connected to the next generation 5G network developed by the Chinese tech giant Huawei. The new device enabled a near real-time connection, according to Dr. Ling. You barely feel that the patient is 3,000 kilometers away, he said. Convention and that's uh, knowledge shall be increased. The elder Apostle Tahar was bringing out about that scripture, you know, how it says that knowledge shall be increased. That it was talking about quantum knowledge, a big leap in in uh, technology, you know, and the knowledge of technology and, and how fast um, the ideas of these technologies are going to start happening rapidly, you know. Uh, reading on, it says, Con conventional 4G networks do not allow surgical operations to be performed due to video lag and remote control delays. 
The new technology seems to have resolved these issues, the surgeon says. Medical institutions worldwide have made an array of experiments with robotic telesurgery. The most striking example being being American Da Vinci Surgical System. But the technology has yet to make a significant commercial impact as existing gadgets are criticized for having a number of performance issues. Remote surgery could allow people from far away or poor regions as well as war zones to receive, yeah, to receive a mark in their hands or in their foreheads, right? To receive immediate, that was just a quick plug-in, to receive immediate help from top doctors around the globe due to its large bandwidth and low latency, 5G enables extreme, extremely low operational delay during surgery, the manufacturer says. So they doing it, man. They coming in with this 5G high high uh, um, radio frequency bandwidth that uh, some critics have said that's gonna that's gonna um, make people sick. Um, and they they they're doing it, man. They you know this is it. This is the they got the ball rolling. So this is not a matter of if it's gonna happen. It's it's happening, right before our eyes, man. Prophecy is being fulfilled right before our eyes. It says. 5G made its debut in remote surgery in January when a Chinese doctor successfully performed an operation on an animal's liver at, at Fujian Medical University on the southeastern coast of China. In mid-March, Huawei's solutions were used, used in the first ever human 5G remote surgery, also on the liver, and, a, and, a, and knowledge shall be increased, man, right? Quantum... Quantum knowledge, right, being increased on quantum, uh, on, a, on a quantum scale, you know. I keep using that because the other apostle to all just this past uh, camp, this past Saturday, was bringing out about uh, uh, technology, man, and the and the uh, 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 how these uh, new new uh, 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 technology and stuff like that. Is is coming f faster, more and more, you know, on a, on a high scale level, you know. It says uh, solutions were used in the first ever human 5G remote surgery, also on the liver in a hospital in Shen Shenzhen, 2,000 kilometers away from the doctor's workplace in Beijing. Who uh, who 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 wise effort, efforts? in 5G have become an eyesore for Washington after the U.S.-China trade war unfolded last year. You see, it, here it is, Trump, Trump thinks he's, he, he's, he's uh, swaying power throughout the world, man. And what he's doing is he's, he's uh, 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 fucking up the U.S. Relationships, relationship with the other nations more and more. And the other nations are, are, are above the U.S. right now. You know, the U.S. has taken a back seat to these other nations, man. Economically, you name it, man. Economically, morally, whatever, man. The, you know, these, these nations are, well, I don't know so much about morally, right? But economically, man, you know, um, dealing with te technology. The U.S., can, you got to take a back seat. You know, um, these other nations have, have, Taking the lead as far as when it comes to uh, um, exporting uh, manufactured goods, you know, the U.S. has become a imp uh, more of an import nation than an export nation. Uh, the export nations are the ones making the money because they're exporting their goods that they have uh, created and made, man. So China is in lead uh, has to has the lead on this. Uh, it says the the uh, Trump administration has been partic particularly persistent in trying to blacklist Huawei world, worldwide over spying allegations. T 
tensions escalated even further as the company's chief financial officer, Meng Wanzhou, was detained in Canada on a U.S. warrant in December 2018. <clears throat> uh, Along with Canada, New Zealand, Australia, and the UK, Washington has barred Huawei from helping to build 5G networks. It also prohibited U.S. government agencies from using Huawei products for security reasons. Huawei filed a lawsuit challenging the decision. So there you go, brothers. That's, you know, so... Uh, this ties in with and they shall and, 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 and that they shall make people receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads um, and it could be done via this 5g network from far away you know this 5g technology from far away man so yeah so with this 5g technology brain surgery stuff this is definitely the scripture right here right Daniel's 12th chapter in the fourth verse and it says but thou O Daniel shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end we're living in the time of the end how do we know well because of prophecies uh, coming to pass you know um, uh, certain world world events that have taken place like you know like the Lord has explained in uh, Matthews the 24th chapter <coughs> Um, situations throughout the world are are increasing at an alarming rate. You know, earthquakes, pestilences, uh, wars. You know, skirmishes. You know, all these things. Signs in the heavens. You know. You know, so we're definitely living in the last days, and also the bringing the bringing on of the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. All right. A sure, a sure sign that we are in the in the latter days, man. Um, it says, "But thou, O Daniel, shut up the and Daniel's back again." Okay. Uh, it says, "But thou, o Daniel, shut up the words and sealed the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and and knowledge shall be increased." Right. People are running. People ran to and fro in the ancient world. Right. You know, by horse and buggy and what have you. But now people are running to and fro even quicker, even faster, right? Because of, by way of te technology, you know, cars, trains, uh, uh, airplanes. But even even faster, right? These technologies, they make they make them better and better, you know, each, each, each year. Hell, like what Apostle, Elder Apostle Tahar was saying. You know, it it could be in a, in a matter of weeks something they'll create something new that is better than the last thing they had. You know, so this is what we this is what what it's coming to. Um, this guy Elon Elon Musk, he's trying to he's trying to build tunnels under 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 uh, I believe it's L A. All right, so he can he can make uh, trains underground um, uh, trains, man, that that um, could get you from point A to point B. At an alarming rate, you know, quickly, you know, like, you know, uh, it, you know, it, it, it could bring you, let's say, hy hypothetically speaking, if he was to do this and uh, he, he built these tunnels all throughout under under America, he could have a train from, that, that could go from L.A. Uh, from L.A. to New York and get you there, you know, within, I don't know, within hours, you know. So, this is this is the technology. This is the knowledge type of knowledge that's being increased, um, and and pertaining to this article here that I just read, this scripture fits it to a T because you know that's that's like an, an incredible thing. This this brain surgeon uh, did this this operation miles away, and and the operation was successful. Okay, so it's here, man. It's it's here, man. So you know. Um, all these people talking about that the um, this this technology, you know, the RFID uh, chip and this type of technology does not exist. Well, I'm I'm giving you the proof right now. <coughs> the 
that's like that's like like a miracle right you know to to have performed su- such an operation um this is why you already know where i'm going here this is revelation the 13th chapter and um the 13th verse and it says and he do with because this say although this was a Moabite, right a, Ch- uh, a chinese man this technology would be bought by the u.s and this will be done in the u.s man you know you know they they're gonna they're gonna have this 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 uh types of these types of operation is happening throughout the hospitals in the u.s no no doubt about that you know implanting the chips from far away and all that stuff man and it says and i beheld another beast come i'm sorry uh, i said the 13th verse Revelation 13, verse 13. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And that's talking about um, the nuclear nuclear um, missiles, right? And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by, by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. That's this what I just read in this article is one of those miracles, man. You know? Using that 5G technology, right? Saying to them that dwell on earth that they should make an image to the beast which had had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should should both speak. Yeah, and they got they got those, uh, what's that, Project Blue Beam and, you know, they got different technology that they could, they could, um, they could put holograms in the sky and make it seem like, uh, you know, I, I heard of that before, you know, that they're going to try to create the uh, the uh, second coming of the Lord. But it's going to be, you know, like Caesar Borgia, they're going to put a, a freaking hologram in the sky and then people going to go crazy, you know, shit like that. You know, I even heard that there was a there was a there was something where they they were able to simulate. I believe simulate the sun in the sky and um uh, and they could make it seem like we got two suns and shit you know crazy shit like that so you know this man has that technology man to deceive the people deceive the nations <clears throat> and it says um and causes the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed and he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men and deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the beast. I'm sorry. Uh, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed and he causeth all both small and great and that's when they when they uh, mandate this is the mandating of the rfid chip man okay they're gonna mandate it and then if if no one wants to receive it they're gonna they're gonna kill them well, guess what's gonna happen with the the men of the Lord that that don't receive that because men the men of the Lord are not gonna receive that. They're gonna try to they're gonna try to kill us, man. And so be it. If that's if if that's if that's the way that the Lord, our Lord, Yahweh Bashimi Haushah Bashim wants to wants us to uh um to go out, then that's what it's gonna be because we know that you know that the Lord is able to raise us back up again. All right, then that's the faith that we should be in. All right, you know we, we're not to we're not to um, be afraid of of man that that dies, man. Right, that's the scripture that says that to be not afraid of afraid of a man who who dieth. You know, so uh, Yahweh Shai was not afraid when he was when he was in front of uh, Pontius Pilate. You know, and Pontius Pilate was telling him, "Do you know what I could do to you? I could." Do and then Yahweh Shai came back and said, "Look, you know, I look, look. Let me tell you what I could do to you. I could, I could call. I believe he said twelve, twelve legions. I got to go back of angels to come and pretty much destroy you and, and your and your whole kingdom, man. Okay, so this is all of the Lord. The Lord is is in control here. All right, that's why Esau is a damn proud devil, man." And the Lord's and the and the Lord's gonna bring him down very soon.
um, 16th verse, and he causes, causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, right? Because some people are going to get it in their hands, or in their foreheads, right? And in your forehead is your brain. Um, like I just read this article to you, they, they, they did this uh, operation on this person's brain, and they did it using the 5G network, and they did it, and they did it from far away, man. And they were and they were successful too. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. What's the mark? Karakba, man. The the uh, RFID implantable microchip, man. Okay, that is that is capable of holding uh, a a great amount of data and info concerning concerning the host, man. The concerning the person who 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 got who gets the the mark, the RFID chip, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Okay, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. Right, that man is e Edom, Esau, Edom, and his number is six hundred three score and six. And there's a there's a, a spiritual breakdown to that in the Hebrew to come up with the six hundred uh, six hundred three score and six. So that was just a quick lesson, man. You know, um, if you're new here uh, to my channel, um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell uh, to let you know whenever I put up a new video. Um, I'm going to put the link to this article in, in the description box. Uh, and with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Uh, just another lesson. GMS Gallows in the Streets. Elder Soccer Run. Signing off. Shalom.